our day four of our disease research, today what you should be doing is you should be formatting your PowerPoint presentation. You should basically you should basically have everything you need for both diseases and start now formatting your slides, getting everything set. If you do not have everything you need, you need to make sure you do that. However, you do have homework tonight if you don't get that done. Your homework tonight is to do a little bit more research. If you don't have everything done as far as what you need, please don't do that with that laptop. No, just leave it like that. Um, we will not have access to laptops tomorrow. So anything computer or internet related you have to do at home. We will have a very small amount as far as what's in the classroom to use tomorrow for the project. So you do have to do this at home for technology, adding to your PowerPoint, formatting your PowerPoint, getting all that set. That's something you're going to have to do at home from the rest of the day, being today, tomorrow, and then when we come back from Washington, D.C. Carter, sit down while I'm talking. Sit down. Um, in addition to that, if you finish your PowerPoint presentation today, so everything's done, um, let me back up for a second. Keep in mind how many references you need to have. The books are, are the books we will have throughout the entire presentation. Those won't go anywhere. Again, if you don't have the books, don't have the information you need, my website under class links has three sites for books that you can use. In addition to that, don't forget about Son of Citations, which is on my website for APA format. If you're struggling using that, let me know and I will help you with that. Um, when you finish the PowerPoint presentation, so from here on, these are the things that we're going to work on as far as finishing the PowerPoint presentation. Don't forget that you have a second part of the project, which is a PSA. PSA is a cartoon public service announcement for each disease. In the back of the room, I placed some white cardstock. You can use that, um, no problem. Use the front for one disease, the back for another. Remember what your rubric says about how many panels you need. This one here is an example one for leukemia. They gave you some information about leukemia. What you have to do is you have to put on your PSA how to prevent the disease. If you have a disease that is non-preventable, then you need to put on um, show one interesting fact about the disease other than what you've already put in your PowerPoint. Again, one can go on the front and one can go on the back. It must be colorful. Make sure you follow your rubric for that. You can uh, have some humor, but please make sure it's school appropriate and it's not offensive to someone who may have the disease or no one know someone that has the disease. So please keep those things in mind. Are there any questions about what it is that you are supposed to be doing today? You have a lot of work to do, so please make sure you're using your time wisely. All right? 